I have come to take a look at the Cleve Hill Solar Park that's under construction near Faversham. This is another green energy site being built at the expense of our environment and its wildlife. They're building it in an area surrounded by habitat designated for their wildlife value at national and international level. It's covering an area of approximately 890 acres of former grazing marsh. Once built, it will consist of 880,000 solar panels and battery storage. This project is about five times bigger than anything else currently being built in the UK. Now, this solar park is a very different design to other solar park developments. Rather than south-facing panels, they will face east and west, meaning they uh, can be installed much closer together. This design increases the impacts and significantly reduces the opportunities for wildlife. Green energy is the only future, but these giant projects, when built in sensitive areas, negatively impact the aesthetic beauty of the marshes and adversely affect the amenity values and wildlife in the area. They lead to cumulative impact, turning areas into industrial landscapes, bit by bit, year after year. Even just the construction alone completely displaces our ever declining wildlife. Only 4% of life on Earth is wildlife. Look at this, there is so much water on this marsh that they're having to pump it out into the dike. Isn't that crazy? Marshland is so important for storing water, it acts like a sponge. And here they are, look, it's so flooded in there. And I've just had to walk through this public right of way that's completely flooded. It's crazy, the impact. Before we take up countless acres of land with solar panels, put them on every car park, library, school, supermarket, office block, warehouse and home. Let the people produce their own power. It's just that that technique doesn't make a single company super rich. Cheers guys, get wild.